Don't mind me. I'll be quick. I'll try my best. It's gonna be a close finish, man. I found Iron House Strength and Conditioning on my travels in Nashville, Tennessee. Definitely a great bodybuilder setup. I started with dumbbell bench press for sets of 10 reps. And then I found this really cool incline machine and did sets of 12. Then the OG Hammer Strength Decline Press for sets of 10. Hammer Strength Flat Press for sets of 12. And then we finished off with Incline Smith Machine Bench Press for sets of 20. And then I did some tricep pushdowns with some prime handles. All right, guys, just finished up at the gym. We're in Nashville, Tennessee, and I found probably, and this has to be one of my top five gyms I've ever trained at. Check out Iron House. And it's in Hermitage, which is just outside of downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Man, Iron Paradise. Had the best chest workout. I took footage of it inside for you guys so you can check it out yourselves. But man, what a gym. And it's 24 hours. They let casuals in 24 hours. They give you your own little access card. It's gonna be a good week, guys. I'm already looking forward to it. Look at this weather. Look at this weather. Wow. And tonight we have a massive pizza. I'm not sure if it's the biggest in Nashville, but man, it's 30, 36 inches. 10 pounds you get 30 minutes man i don't know if i can do it but look after that chest workout i think anything's possible let's go hit it guys i'm gonna i'm gonna be at salvos from 5 p.m come check it out the gym's in hermitage salvos is in hermitage i'm staying in downtown nashville so i drove all the way back to downtown to take a shower to come all the way back to hermitage all right guys we've made it to hermitage still cracking weather here in Nashville, but uh, we're at Salvo's Pizza. They have a 36 inch, 10 pound pizza. I'm gonna try eat it. Apparently it's a 30 minute time limit. They drive a hard bargain, but I wanna give them my best shot guys. So um, I'll see you inside, let's do this. We've got pizza on the menu. The Godfather has only ever been conquered by two teams of two people. I was ready to become the first one man team. It takes two people to prepare and construct. And as they were making this pizza for me, I realized why it had never been conquered. The abundance of dough, sauce, and cheese. Man, this was gonna be a tough task. The fact they made it on a trolley and had a custom tray should have been indication enough. But you know me, guys, I'm always down to do something outrageous. And when it came out of the oven and they sliced it up, it truly hit me. This was a huge one. But I'm ready as I'll ever be. What's going on? James here, Jay Weber County. Tonight we're in the city of Hermitage in Tennessee and I'm at Salvo's Pizza, the home of this 36 inch monster. So I've got a 10 pound cheese pizza. Normally two people get 30 minutes. You guys know I don't have many friends, so I'm here by myself. I'm gonna try solo it. Let's get it done, guys. They've been kind enough to give me a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but let's try do it in 30. All right, guys, the Godfather about to go down. Three, two, one, let's go. Time is on. Pizza's ready. Wow. Think. Mm -mm. Mm. Shout out to the boys at the gym this morning. You boys that recommended this place, you're right, 100%. This pizza is delicious. The comparison of the slice to my head was quite humbling. Everybody knows I've got a big head, so I knew this was going to be a huge pizza. Go and try this at home. Maybe order this for your birthday party. Share it with your friends and family. But it was definitely delicious, and people had recommended it to me this morning at the gym. So I wanted to do my best to make them proud. I got the first slice down in two and a half minutes. This thing's massive. I can definitely see why it's a challenge for two people. This pizza dough was really chewy. And one person can only chew so fast. Making good time. The pizza was definitely put together great. I could fold it perfectly. Quarter down. Get in there. Normally, I love pizza with a chewy crust, but definitely not this time. It's a one-man food challenge and it's a race against the clock. And whilst I was really enjoying this pizza, I knew I had to get it down fast. Three, 
five and a half minutes down and we're on to slice number three. A little crowd started to gather and I'm not sure if they had much faith in me. Don't mind me guys, sorry. I'll be quick. But I'm almost at halfway. This is where everyone seems to drop off. So the staff members started the encouragement. Now I know why only two teams have ever finished this thing. I appreciate you. During these big challenges, you have to be really mindful of your fluid consumption. Whilst I really want to smash those three cups of Diet Coke, I knew I had to save room for the pizza. At this point, I was definitely considering a team member. My jaw was starting to get fatigued. And I knew with 12 minutes down, I had to pick up the pace. Officially halfway, I'm ready to get a move on. Four slices to go, four big chewy slices. To tell you the truth, I was actually really enjoying this challenge. And I think if I had an hour to complete it, I wouldn't have been stressing. But that's the fun of food challenges. You don't make the rules, you just follow them. But as most food challenges will tell you, we always hope for delicious food in a food challenge, and this was definitely one of them. So the shorter time limit was definitely okay with me. With only 15 minutes to go, I knew I would need every second to get these last three slices down. I had really hoped to have half the pizza done much quicker than this, but this was definitely proving to be a great food challenge. Okay, three slices to go, 17 minutes down. I was definitely starting to feel this 10 pound godfather. My jaw was killing me, my stomach was getting full, but I was so close. And to be honest, I wasn't sure if I could complete it in under 30 minutes but I had such great support from the crowd at this point. Oh. oh, this solo stuff is hard. When people talk about competitive eating, they always think it's capacity and speed, but actually there's a massive mental game involved. When you're trying to put down 10 pounds of pizza in under 30 minutes by yourself, there's a massive battle in your head. You think you can do it, then you want to give up and throw in the towel. And then you think you can do it again. It's gonna be a close finish, man. And then you kind of just get it done. All right, let's go. And I'm almost there, the final two slices. It was now a race against the clock. That second last slice went down so easily. One more to go. The finish line was definitely in sight, but so was the end of the time limit. So I picked up the slice, I folded it in half straight away, got my Diet Coke and gave it everything I had. Yeah. 
but I just couldn't seem to chew fast enough. Time was definitely running out and I felt like this little bit of crust wasn't disappearing. I was so close, I couldn't finish that last bit of crust under 30 minutes. But to get this whole pizza down in just under 31 minutes and entertain a whole restaurant, I'll take that any day. Salvo's Pizza, the Godfather 36 inch, not done in quite 30 minutes, but 30 and some change. Oh, see you on the next one.